You can use the EDAC potential stat for chrono amperometry. This is where you apply a constant voltage and monitor the current with time. This is normally done in the chart software. If you look at the potential stat, picostat and quadstat manual, in chapter 5 techniques, you'll find a description for chrono amperometry in chart software. For this example, I've connected a 10 kilo ohm resistor across the electrode cables of the potential stat. You start by setting up the channels. Remember, with the ER466 potential stat, the current is displayed in channel 3 and the voltage in channel 4. You go to the setup menu and channel settings. For channel 3, you can rename this current. Channel 4, voltage. I don't need to see channels 5 to 8, so the display channels I'm going to reduce to 4. Click OK. And I don't need to see channels 1 and 2 either, so I can hide them like this. You can set up the sampling rate in here. For this uh, experiment, I'm going to choose 1000 data points per second. You now go to the setup menu and stimulator. You should make sure that the mode is set to pulse, that the amplitude is set to zero. For the voltage range, you should choose a range which is just above what you're going to be using. I'm going to choose 500 millivolts, and you set up the voltage you want in here for the baseline. You can either slide the slider along, or you can type in the value here, 400 millivolts. I'm going to click Start to record. You need to choose a better current range. Choose a current which is just above the maximum, so 100 microamps for this, and the voltage 500 millivolts. And now you can see the potential stat is applying 400 millivolts and recording about 40 microamps. If you have a noisy signal, you can apply a low pass filter in the potential stat window. Low pass 10 Hz filter is normally a good filter to use. Click OK and start. You can change the applied voltage at any time by typing in here, and you can see that it's changed the voltage and the recorded current in here. You can try to use different waveforms like step, ramp, triangle, or sine wave. And once you're happy, you can close this window. You can add comments up here, so if you were to inject something, you can click Add, and that will add a comment to your chart. At the moment, it's starting and stopping as I click Start and Stop. If you want to apply the voltage for a fixed time, you can go to Setup, Trigger, and for example for the stop, you can have a fixed duration of 5 seconds. So now when I click Start, it's going to record for 5 seconds and then stop on its own. If your data consists of a series of peaks, and you want to integrate the peaks and draw a calibration graph, you can use the FIA extension. There's a separate video about this. In Windows Flow Analysis, you might have to download this extension. If you find your current channel and then find your peaks, this extension lets you manually integrate the peaks You can set some of them as calibration standards, enter their concentration into here. And it calculates the concentration of your samples, and it draws a calibration graph, etc.